right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, it's such a nice, nice tone in here this morning. It feels good. Happy Mother's Day to any of you who are moms, or you were, all of you were not hatched, so you all have one, not, not either with us or not. So make sure you say greet them with some sort of love today. Um, mine will make sure I call her shortly. So, <laughs> um, so if you're new to class this morning, welcome. I don't think anybody is. I don't know. You've taken this page before, have you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, if you're if you're new, um, this class is for you. So it's what you want it to be. If there's something you don't want to do, you don't have to do it. If there's something you want to do, go ahead and do it. And if I can catch it, maybe we'll all do it together. But pain is bad. As long as you don't do anything that hurts or feels painful, you cannot do any of these yoga things wrong. So don't worry about perfect yoga. It's not a thing. Um, we're going to start seated. So find a comfortable seat that feels good for you. And that could be ankles crossed, legs straight out in front, or on your knees. Once you get to where you want to, where you want to be, just close your eyes. So sit up nice and tall. Shoulder blades go on to your back. Lift up that chest. Get your back as nice and straight as it can be. And then start to slow down your breath. And to do that, just start by taking a nice deep inhale in through your nose. Fill up your chest and lungs. You can hold your breath for a second right there at the top. And then nice deep exhale. And it's okay to hear your breath. It's okay to hear your neighbor's breath. It's all part of the practice. Nice deep inhale. Nice deep exhale. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Everything today is at your own pace, including the breath. So do that for a few more rounds all on your own, just breathing, <clears throat> and then we'll start to move together in just a moment. <laughs> Let the calming sounds of the gym floor <laughs> Come into your mind. <laughs> Lord. But with slowing down our breath, we also want to try to do what I just didn't do, and you want to slow down your mind and your thoughts. As stuff, <laughs> as stuff comes in, you do not have to take it on. <laughs> try to just clear your mind. Focus on your breath and allow this time to be just for you. If you're holding tension in your mind or in your body, when you exhale, try to soften that just a little. Inhale. Exhale. Staying right where you are, you can keep your eyes closed or if you wanna open them, you can do that as well. Gently just start to roll out your neck. Nice big circles, chin comes down to your chest, bless you. Take your time. When you're ready, reverse it and take it the other way. And then bring that chin just down to your chest and just sweep your chin shoulder to shoulder, making like a half moon. Bring that head back up to the center and then just look over to the right and just hold. As we're doing this, try to keep making your back nice and flat. Lift your chest up. 
head comes back over to the left. Back to the center, drop your head back and look up. And then chin to your chest, look down. Bring that head back to the center, and depending on how your legs are, if you have your legs straight out in front, maybe fold them in just for a little bit so we can do our cat and cow. So hands go right around your knees. You can probably do it just with your hands on your legs as well. So let's just lean back, make a big letter C, chin to your chest. That's your cat. Then inhale, pull yourself up, bend those elbows, send that chest forward. That's your cow. So inhale here, exhale, cat, round it out. Beautiful. Remember, this should feel good. If something doesn't, you don't have to do it. Inhale, cat, ow, <laughs> cow, exhale, cat. <laughs> Keep doing this at your own pace. And the next time you come up to that cow, hold it right there, wherever you are, and then take your hands down to your mat and walk those fingers forward. Let your head come down, let your chest melt. Exhale. And then staying right there where you are, fold it over, walk your hands over to the right. It can be a little, it can be a lot, whatever feels good. You can have your palms nice and flat. You can be up on your fingertips. <clears throat> hands come up to the top and then walk them over to the left. One more time, up nice and tall to the top of your mat. Nice deep inhale, exhale, fold it over. And then bring that left hand or that left, yeah, we'll go with left, I meant to say right. We'll bring that left hand or left forearm over to your left side. So you can plant that left palm if that feels okay, or you can get that full forearm down and reach up and over with the right. Nice. Bring it up nice and tall. Right arm is gonna come down to your mat. Right forearm if you want, keep reaching over. And then one more time to the top of your mat. Walk those fingers out. Exhale. Walk your hands back to meet those knees. And then you're going to swing around everybody. And we're going to do some knee stuff, okay? So if knee stuff bothers you, what you want to do is you can double up your mat by folding it in half this way, or you can fold it in half that way. You can also grab another mat or another towel if you want, okay? So once you get here, sit right back onto your heels. Knees are touching. And then bring those arms up nice and tall as you inhale. Fingers interlace. Flip those palms up toward the ceiling. Nice straight arms, beautiful. If it's okay, yep, you can come right up to your knees too if being like on your knees um, bothers you. Just come right up. 
drop your head back and look up. And then bring those arms down behind your back, fingers interlace that way, pull that chest forward. Nice, nice big inhale. Exhale, fold. Bring those hands back down as you come back up. And then we're coming from here right up into our tabletop. So come up to all fours. Knees line up with your wrists, about hip width distance. And before we do anything, we're gonna flip those wrists around. So you're gonna flip those hands so those fingers face you and those forearms face the mirrors. Beautiful. If that's okay, you can let your head go Feel a nice stretch at the back of your neck. Flip those fingers back around. And then right here, you can nod your head no, shake your head yes, look left and right, make some little circles. Whatever feels good, just gently move your head around so your neck feels all right. And right now, the next thing we're gonna do is our regular cat and cow, so we're all set to do it. So <clears throat> inhale, take your eyes and look up, tailbone curves up. You want to think of making a big letter U, like the word under. Your chest and stomach want to press down toward your mat. And then for your cat, press it up to the ceiling, chin to your chest. Exhale. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. If one feels better than the other, feel free to stay in something as long as you want. Otherwise, keep going back and forth at your own pace. When you're ready, we're gonna meet back in our nice, flat, neutral spine. And then remember, pain is bad, so if something's not for you, you can modify it or skip it all together. Right foot is gonna step up to meet that right hand. Good. Now take that right hand and flip it on the outside so you frame that front right foot. Fingers stay down and just lean into that front right knee. So you're activating the front right knee, but you should feel it in the left. The stretch is back there for your left groin area, your inner thigh. Beautiful. You're going to feel it on your right knee for sure. Nice. Now, if this is okay and we're doing all right, walk your hands back and you're going to keep going all the way back onto that back heel. If that's not going to happen for you, skip it. Stretch that straight right leg out in front of you. Toes point up. Nice. Nice job, everybody. Walk it up. Right foot steps back. Left foot steps forward. Frame that front left foot. Lean into that left knee. And then slowly walk it back. And sit back onto that back right heel. Front toes flip up on the left. Don't worry if it's not for you, it's okay. I mean, look at my husband, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, he, no, he can't do some of the stuff and it doesn't matter. 
that meant to sound nicer than it came out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Walk it back up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So Michael's moving to Oahu, and I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's a rough one. Um, <laughs> focus, people. <laughs> right, because clearly it's your fault. Take your right arm out to the side, <laughs> lift it up just a little, and then bring it down and through to the left. <laughs> bring your head, your shoulder, your ear down on the right. And then that left hand that's pressing flat on your mat, it can stay right there. It can lift straight up into the sky, or it can fold behind your back, and that's all up to you. Nice. Breathe. And then when you're ready, bring that left hand down. Come back up to your tabletop. Final thing on our knees, everybody. And then we're going to swing back around and have a seat. So stay with me. Left arm goes out to your side. Lift it up. Down and through to the right for your twist. And then go for any of those variations that you want with that right arm up in the sky, behind your back, or right there on the floor where it is. Bring that right hand down to your mat when you're ready. And I'm sorry, we're gonna do one more thing. Knees go as wide as your mat. Big toes come to touch. Sit back onto your heels and walk those arms forward for child's pose. Nice big exhale as you come down. Let your chest go, let your stomach go, and try to sit back as close as you can toward your heels. All of that happens when you just exhale. So breathe deeply. Staying right there in your child's pose, walk your hands to the right like we did earlier, curving out your left. So press into your left side while you're reaching to the right. Up nice and tall. And then hands over to the left. Press into your right. the top one more time. Nice big inhale. Exhale. When you're ready, just start to walk your hands back to meet your knees. Come up nice and slow. Shift to one side and bring those legs straight out in front. Nice everybody. Plant those heels, toes are pointing straight up. Arms are gonna take a nice big inhale and raise up. Exhale, fold it over. So you can use your towel, you can use your strap, and the toes aren't necessarily the goal. So if you're not at your toes this morning, it's okay. Breathe.
where you are. Take another inhale. Exhale, hold on. Walk your hands up those legs and then bring the soles of the feet to touch. Wrap your fingers around those toes. Move around if needed. Yep, and let's do some butterfly wings with those legs. Or not. <laughs> Lisa, that was your fault. So keep that left wing right where it is. Take that right leg out to the side and then pull that one in. Shift around if you need to to kind of make sure you're centered on the front. Inhale as those arms reach up. Exhale, fold to those right toes. Walk your hands up that right leg. Left leg will go out. And then right foot's going to pull in. Shift around. Nice big inhale as those arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Very nice. Walk your hands up that left leg, and then one more time. Soles of the feet are going to come together. Fingers wrap around. Sit up nice and tall, and then just breathe. can take your feet out in front of you you can cross them again if you want just be have have a comfortable seat take that right arm out to your side pull it across intersect it with the left open and close those hands wiggle out those wrists stretch out those fingers nice grab that elbow on the front and then take that arm to the center of your back if something doesn't go there, it's way worse to force it, so don't make that happen if it's not ready to. Breathe. And then let that go. Left arm goes out to your side. Pull it across. Intersect it with the right. Same thing. Open and close those hands. Wiggle out fingers. Roll out wrists. And then elbow on the front, up and over to the center of your back. Nice, everybody. And then let that go. 
Hands just going to rest comfortably, drop your head back and look up. We're going to do something for our jaw, okay? So all you're going to do, because nobody can see us do this, is just open and close your mouth, stretch out your jaw. I know it's weird, do it. <laughs> When you're ready, bring your head back to the center and then take those legs straight out in front. Roll it down, everybody, onto your backs. Take your time, let your back melt right into your mat. There is no hurry. Yep. <laughs> I know we made it down to the floor. Good job, everybody. Take your time and get comfortable here. Melt into your mat. Make sure your breath is still just the same. Big inhales, big exhales. And then gently roll your head side to side. Make that half moon the other way. Chin coming down to each shoulder back and forth. And then reach those arms up top, fingers touch, try to touch that back wall. Bring those toes to touch in front, reach those front mirrors, and do that nice deep stretch right from your center. And then when you're ready, bring that right knee into your chest and wrap those fingers around it, and just gently work on pressing your knee in toward you. your ankle, stretch those toes out, point and flex your toes, straight up into the sky, let your hand slide behind that right knee. Right knee will pull back into your chest and then take that right hand and open everything over to the right. You can let it come all the way down to the floor if that feels better for you, or you can hold it and make a kickstand with your elbow, leaving your hand on your knee. want to stretch that leg out straight to the right, slide your hand behind that knee and make a brace for it. You can use your towel or your strap for this one as well. into your chest and then left hand is going to reach over and grab that right knee pull that knee across your body to the left the shoulder blades are nice and flat lower body's twisting you can take your head and look in the opposite direction of that knee so you can get an upper twist as well as lower
and then final position for the sequence. If you want to take that right leg straight out to the side on this side, you can do that as well. Pull that right knee back into your chest. Roll gently onto your back again. Pull that left knee in. You can cross at both ankles if you want. And now make nice little circles on your back, pulling your knees in and pressing them away. And then just reverse it and take it the other way when you're ready. Just work on pressing that left knee toward you as you breathe. Roll out that ankle. Stretch out those toes, point and flex. And then hands will slide behind that left knee. Take that left leg straight up into the sky. Again, if there's anything you want to do, any variation or anything you want to add on, never wait for me to go for it. It's your class. Go for it yourself. knee will pull into your chest again and then left hand opens that left knee to the left. Same uh, modifications if you want. <sighs> Breathe, inhale and exhale. Stretch that left leg straight out to the side on the left if you want to. Left knee pulls into your chest. Right hand will reach over and grab that left knee. Pull that knee across your body. Over to the right. Again, shoulder blades nice and flat, twisting from your lower body. And then head can look the opposite direction of your knees if you want to add in that twist for your upper. Stretch that left leg out to the side. You can do that as well. Pull that left knee back into your chest. Roll back onto your back. Right knee will pull in as well. And now roll on your mid-back again. 
those same nice circles we did before. Soles of the feet are gonna come down to the floor when you're ready. Knees are in the sky. And now drop those knees side to side. Let's do some windshield wipers. Try to get both knees down to the floor as close as you can on each side. You can add in your neck and your head rolling from side to side, doing maybe the opposite direction of your knees if you want a little bit more, but you don't have to. Bring those knees down to the right. Let them stay right there on the right side. And then slide that right foot out from underneath and stack that right foot on top of that left knee. those knees up and take them over to the left. And then left foot slides out from underneath and stacks on top of that right knee or that right leg. that foot back down underneath, bless you. Knees come up into the sky again. And now soles of the feet touch, bless you, as each knee opens to either side like a book for our hip opener. So you can always leave your hands right by your side. You can put one hand on your stomach and one hand on your heart to connect your breath and your heart. You can put your hands gently on your inner thighs or knees and add a little bit of pressure to work on opening your hips a little bit more. You can also take your arms up by your side like cactus arms. Gently lift your chest up and feel a small little bridge near your lower back. Just like at the beginning of class, when I say if you feel tension somewhere and you want to breathe deeply, if you're feeling tightness right now, your exhale is what is what's the work. So make sure you exhale.
So before you come out of this, if it's been really intense for you, you can take your hands on the outer side of your legs and kind of help scoop your legs up versus just trying to do your legs all on your own and putting that pressure on your lower back and tailbone. If it's okay, just bring those knees back up to touch soles and feet are on the floor. Right knee is gonna pull into your chest and left leg is gonna go straight out, but hover above the floor. So hold it off the ground. Point those toes right to those front mirrors on both feet. And then switch. Right leg goes out, hovers above the floor. Left knee pulls in, toes are pointing toward the mirrors on both feet. Nice, switch again. And then one more time, switch. Very nice, everyone. Both soles of the feet are gonna come back down to the floor. Knees are in the sky again. Reach down with your fingers and find your heels. We're going to do some modified bridges. So if you want to always go for the full bridge pose, you can always do that. For modified, you just want to think about lifting your hips up as you inhale and your arms stay nice and flat on the mat, okay? So nice deep inhale, press your hip up. Imagine that there's an orange right between your knees, so you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna hold on to that orange and not let your legs open to the side. The more you press up, the more there is to come down when we lower down. You can come up onto your toes if you want. Any variation you wanna do, do it. Exhale, lower down, melt one vertebrae at a time, all the way back down into your mat. Press that tailbone in and then inhale, let's do it again. Inhale, lift up. And you don't have to go the whole way every single time. You know, if you want to back off one time and then go more the next, you can do that too. It doesn't have to be 100% every single time. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, hold on to that orange. Exhale, lower down. We're going to do one more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Nice. Take those legs straight out in front of you onto the floor and get comfortable because now you're in your final pose. So close your eyes. Go back to those inhales and exhales that you breathe as deeply as you want. You'll be here for just a minute or two and then I'll bring us all back and we'll finish class together. So until then, just enjoy your Shavasana.
space right there where you are in your Shavasana. Wiggle out your fingers and wiggle out your toes. Gently roll your head side to side, chin coming down to the <coughs> shoulder. Arms reach above your head, touch that back wall, toes come to touch in front, do that nice deep stretch one more time. And then if you want to, you can press your arms and your legs to the right, hips to the left. Give yourself a nice little banana curve right there. And then up and over to the other side. I like that some of you did fetal position too, that's great. It's always whatever you want. And then whenever you're ready, press yourself up to a comfortable seat of your choice, or you can always just stay right there if you'd like that too. When you get to wherever you want to be, close your eyes again if they opened up, bring your hands to your heart in prayer, and we'll do one final inhale and exhale together. Inhale. Exhale. I truly believe we only keep what we have by giving it away, and we all have so much. And by that, I mean a kind word, patience, a second chance. If you give any of that away, you will get it back, and you will get it back today. With that, I take my forehead and I bow it to my fingertips. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste. So just to like touch on a sore subject again, many people have told me several times that they like having him up there because it shows like the wide range of how this is okay <laughs> to do the whole thing. Like, I'm, no, I'm serious. People have been it like, it makes, it makes me, like people said, it makes them feel so much better having you up here. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you. All of you go and have the best day ever. I love you all very, very much. Okay, goodbye. Yep, not better, not better. Yep. <laughs>